Welcome to today's sales tip. Now, we're talking about the real trade today, and I've got a lot of comments from you guys out there saying, hey, I love this, but I struggle with it. And guys, remember, the real trade is a way to justify our number. It's a way to get credit for what? The discount we already gave them before they came on. We discount our cars online, and when they come in and want more for the trade, I'm gonna remind them what? You're just not getting this, but we gave you this discount together. That's really Blue Book, right? We walk them through what we gave them, plus the discount is Blue Book, guys. And of course, the tax savings, and if you're a state with the tax savings, they get a tax savings. And then let me update you on something. When we talk about repairs and stuff like that, if you don't have specific repairs that you can bring up to mind, tell them, hey, we spent about two to four cents a mile. Go ahead and, and bring in a car up to snuff so we can sell it. Obviously, somebody buying a used car wants it ready to go. And two cents a mile, 60,000 miles, you're looking at $1,200. That's money you don't have to spend the dealership will cover that right so here's an update to the real trade value use this benchmark at two to four cents a mile to put in their head there's money going to be spent and you don't have to spend it at savings right what are we re really doing with this real trade guys let me just remind you the buyer wants to say yes They've made an emotional decision. I want the car, 80% emotion, but the 20% facts standing in the way, we're going to give them the logical reason to say, yes, yes, this is a good deal. And the real trade value is a tool that serves us in helping the buyer feel comfortable saying, I'll take it. Good selling.